Hey, Jed Gottlieb from the Boston Herald here, another guest of the guitar, this time with uh, Alex Nekachea, who is going, who is in, was in Band Camaro, is in Township, the new band is Worshipper, kind of like a trifecta of riffs, <laughs> so I thought, okay, we need to talk a little bit about metal and riffs, so, so here is, this is, this, this is the first song that my band wrote in high school, I don't remember the, I don't remember the verse or the chorus, but this was, I guess, the bridge. Yeah. And I was like, that's totally original. No one's ever done Nobody's this. Ever this done is it. Before, no. That was and then I was like, okay, that's about as far as I've got with the riff. I never really yeah, never really advanced beyond that. <laughs> but what I do like about that kind of stuff were like a lot of Zeppelin, Sabbath, a lot of the 80s stuff even is like a metal riff can be really simple. Yes. It can be really complex, can be really yes. simple, but you know, you can do a lot with it. Absolutely. You know, the riff is, it's a lot like, uh, like the melody, like traditionally like the Bob Dylan yeah, yeah, yeah. approach. You know, you start off with the vocal melody, you have some simple chords, but like the riff, the riff is, you know, it's supposed to be just as important and just as powerful yeah. as the melody. Yeah. And it should be able to stand alone, you know, without any screaming on top of it, you know, without any sort of, you know, poetic, you know, uh, whatever your vocalist is doing, just oftentimes the, the riff is just about, you know, the melody of it, and the power. yeah, 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 yeah. We, when you were, when you were starting with Ben Camaro, uh, what I loved about that just from the onset was that it was not a joke. You know, like it was it was about these songs. You know, a lot of people were like, "Well, what is this? Is this like kind of like a play on this? Is it supposed to be like making fun of it?" But you listen to the songs, and you're like, "These songs are as good or better than those songs. <laughs> like these riffs, like." When you were writing some of those riffs, like how, how much of it did you want to be like homage? How much of it did you want to be like, you know, just like face melting stuff? Well, you know, we, we wanted we wanted a, a bit of everything, you know. And you're right, you're right to say that it wasn't a joke where a yeah. lot of people thought it was. But uh, you know, our approach to you know that type of music really it came from a place of love, like yeah. a real appreciation for, you know. Uh, there, there were a lot of like ridiculous the theatrics involved, <laughs> Absolutely. In, you know, in that genre. But uh, you know, there was also some great songwriting and some great playing. Yeah. And, like uh, my partner at the time, Bryn, Bryn and I, we, uh, you know, we really just wanted to do something that, you know, it, it emphasized all the good things about, you know, what we liked about that music. Yeah. And, you know, so a lot of it was the guitar riffing, and a lot yeah. of it was just like the big power chords and like the, you know, the posturing. Uh, so, yeah, it was a little bit of column A, column B, a little bit of homage, but a lot of it really was, like, it came from a, from a real place for us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Show me, like, a riff that you wrote early on for Bank Camaro, maybe, that you were like, oh, yeah, this is it. We're, okay, here we go. We're, Definitely. we're ready you know, to start. You know, a, a lot of, a, a lot of the, the discussions I had early on with my partner there was, uh, you know, our love of, like, Motley Crue and Def Leppard. And, uh, you know, one of our favorite songs and one of everyone's favorite classic songs is Photograph. Yeah. And uh, so we had a song called Pleasure Pleasure to that. We, uh, you know, it started off as an homage where essentially we wanted to take, you know, a, a really simple four chord riff. Yeah. All right. So something like this. Like... <laughs> Really simple. It yeah. Actually, it's it, you know, it recalls that original photograph yep, pretty, yep, pretty yep. faithfully, and uh, so we didn't want to rip it off per se, but we just wanted to come up with something that was you know of that ilk, and also you know in terms of the mechanics of like writing it, you know, photograph is is this great riff that needs to be pulled off by two guitars because yeah. they use chords and harmony when they're when they're doing this main riff, and that was something that we wanted to emulate with that riff. Uh, as well. So when I originally brought this to the band, like Bryn decided, well, how about I do, I'll do this? Like, and then we had a third guitar player who's like, well, if you guys are going to be doing that, then I'll, I'll play this. <laughs> So, you know, all very similar, it's all yeah. the same chords, but like the inversions that we're using are all different. Yeah. So, you know, when you put all three of those parts together, it really creates this very uh, distinctive wall of sound. <laughs> you know, 
that song is a great example of uh, you know I had a riff, Mark wrote a song around it. You know, John came in with a couple of ideas, like you know maybe he you know rewrote the middle eight or the bridge. Yeah. And so uh, you know, there's a lot of that happening in Township. So yeah. we you know I'll throw a, a riff out, John will throw a riff out, Mark will put it together, or maybe Mark will like write a song and then he'll 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 take the bridge out. Yeah. He'll leave it yeah, blank. He'll, he'll send it to one of us. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. All right, when you guys you guys have to fill this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, um, with Worshipper, if you want to steal this, because like that could be totally, well, can you can totally have that. You sure. And I swear no one's ever done it before. I, I, I it's will, brand new. I will totally put your name in the liner notes when we use it. Palm <laughs> is probably okay. the most important, you know, early, you know, beginner method. And what the palm you is, is like essentially on your, on your pick hand, yeah. you're just taking this. Look at how tight you're holding that pick too. Is that how you're holding it? Well, you know, it kind Mine's of Mine's always like, this. it's like way out there. You know, it really yeah. depends on, yeah. you know, what, what you're trying to execute. Yeah. Like, and you'll find that players are, are often moving the pick around in their hands, yeah, yeah. you know, from moment to moment. Yeah. But anyway, uh, the palm you just really just starts with the base of your palm. Yeah. All right. And what you want to do is like, you essentially just want to lay it on top of your bridge, just just behind where the strings kind of, you know, catch over the, these yeah. saddle pieces. So you're not playing open strings, you're just kind of, you're kind of muting it a little bit. It rings a little. Yeah. But the idea is that you just want to create something that's just powerful. Yeah. 